There are about 13,600 community animal shelters nationwide that are independent. The terms Humane Society and SPCA are generic. Shelters using that name are not part of the ASPCA, ASPCA or the Humane Society. Approximately 7.6 million companion animals enter animal shelters nationwide every year. Of those, approximately 3.9 million are dogs. 3.4 million are cats. Each year, approximately 2.7 million animals are euthanized. That's one too many. When you hear the story about Molly and how she rescued Dana while Dana was rescuing her, that in her time of inconceivable pain, Molly, who knew inconceivable pain, came to offer comfort, to be by her side as a knowing presence. Molly was an affin pincher. My rescue, Ragsby, is an affin pincher. These dogs are euthanized because people are careless, they're reckless, they're breeding factories trying to make money off the backs of animals and treating them poorly. We have a horrible problem here and maybe in your community as well. I remember that several years ago Dana was driving down the street and saw a dog barely able to walk so emaciated so undernourished that she could barely stand up and so even though she was on her way somewhere she pulled over she had a pillow she had uh, in her blanket and went out and wrapped up this dog and brought Zoe back to life found a home for Zoe with a family who had lost a pet who looked like Zoe that had wanted a dog just like Zoe. And so through the rescuing arms of Dana, she placed her in a home responsibly, took care of her, paid out of her own pocket the veterinary expenses and worked with a veteran who had a heart for rescues. The majority of pets are obtained this way from acquaintances and family members. 28% of dogs are purchased from breeders and 29% of cats and dogs are adopted from shelters and rescues. The most common reason why people relinquish or give away their dogs is because the place of residence either does not allow pets, they don't have enough time, there is death and divorce, they change their residence and move, or the dog exhibits behavior problems, or some other reason like they're a breeder and they have an imperfect dog. I believe that's what happened with my Ragsby. That she was purebred and had an underbite and would not show, so they just put her out on the street. It's impossible to determine how many stray dogs, cats live in the United States, but it's estimate for cat, cats alone is 70 million. The average number of litters a fertile cat produces is one, one or two a year, and the average number of kittens is four to six. The average number of litters of fertile dog produced in one year is one a year, and the average number of puppies is four to six. It's been proven that owned and cared for cats and dogs generally live longer and healthier lives than strays. Most strays are lost pets who were not kept properly indoors or provided with identification. Only 10% of the animals received by shelters have been spayed or neutered, and this is a problem. And this only adds to and compounds the problem that we're faced with. What if out there today in a shelter was a dog that in your time of need would be by your side to offer you the comfort that Molly offered to Dana? What if there was a rescue out there like my own rescue who is there each and every day to welcome me home in a house that's empty? To be there is the smile and the acceptance and the welcome that I am her person. The loss of a loved one on any level is a grief that is so hard to reconcile. Why would God take a precious one?
we know that God's ways are not our ways and his thoughts are higher than our thoughts. But his plans are also better than our plans and we have no idea what he spared Molly from when he took her home. He knew that Sadie was there waiting for her. And that when she arrived in heaven, she no longer had the heart murmur and some of the problems that she was facing in older age, that her legs were growing weak. Could he have not given us one more day, one more hour? But God is sovereign, and if we believe in the sovereignty of God, it was done out of love and not malice. It was done out of love and not punishment. It was done out of love for his special purpose, and we may not know, or around the next corner, the answer may appear. This is why we must trust in the Lord. Proverbs 3, 5, and 6 it says, Trust in the Lord and lean not on your own understanding and all your ways acknowledge him, and he will make your paths straight. There is a hole in our heart today that will be very hard to fill. But Molly, we will see you again. Running like a puppy, full of health and life, returning to the youth that was robbed from you by the hands of greedy men. God loves the animals. And the answer is yes. All the animals go to heaven. Believe in God's promises for you and for them. And care for them as if they belong to God. Because they do. We'll be right back. <laughs> 